Yo, yo, what up everybody? ETA on the EUC. It is currently Tuesday, September 24th, 10.41 p.m. We're just starting to shift right now. I was scheduled to start at 10, but lately I've been having a bad habit of starting like 30 minutes after my shift starts. And we're starting with Uber, of course, because the other apps are damn near freaking impossible for me to get on. Now it is. No bikes today. We're on the Sherman Max. Basically the unicycle I've had forever. But but you guys haven't seen it for a while. Hold on, I just got an order. Ta da! It's a matching order. A new Wanjo, 32nd Street, and I got it. Anyway, I keep forgetting. For those that are new to the channel, you don't know what the hell I'm about. My name is Bryce. I ride electric unicycles. I do food delivery full time here in Manhattan. On this channel, you guys just ride along with me as I vlog. You can watch the city. You can listen to me speak as if I have something important to say. And you can watch me do food deliveries. I don't know. Horrible plug, bro. Horrible introduction if you're new, but hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it nonetheless. All right, so first pickup, if it is the first pickup, right here. Hello. I got a pickup for towel. I just heard from the app that it's a single order, so we're not doing another pickup. Zoink. Here's this old electric unicycle. Yeah, we're not going for prettiness. I'm kind of beyond that at this point. Yep. Well, the unicycle looks like garbage on the outside. It actually has a lot of new parts on the inside. I replaced the motherboard not too long ago. And then after that, quite recently, I replaced the motor. So we got a new motherboard, a new motor. There's three components to electric unicycles that are big. I mean, there's the little components that I really don't know too much about. But the biggest ones are the motor, the motherboard, and the battery. So the battery is the one thing that I have not replaced, thankfully, because they're expensive just like everything else on electric unicycle but so far i haven't noticed any difference with like i could still go all day on this thing i can go like 12 plus hours if i wanted doing food delivery easy so these drop offs over here they're always weird because the buildings all look the same like the entrances but some of them make you go on the entrance to the side some let you go in and for some reason this says ah this is not it here but yeah some make you go through the front a lot of them make you go through the side and i can never tell which ones make you go through the front or the side so i think this one makes me go on the side Let's see if i got the right address here nope i don't know why does it take me over here you know what i don't think i've ever delivered here before and i've been by here so many times. I don't think I've ever. Yeah, I don't think I've ever delivered here. Huh? Okay. Cool. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I have a food delivery. Use that little bit. Okay, thank you. You know what? I might have been here before because I'm having some deja vu right now. This is a meat at door order.
Thank you. I don't have patience anymore. If I knock and they're not answering within a very short period of time, I just leave the food at the door because, and then I text them. I just got to order McDonald's, 27 minutes. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. This is New York City and we go by trip time. So one thing I've been doing lately, um, ever since I got my Sherman Max back up, well, let me just say this before I tell you that story. So I'm gonna try to make this quick here. So my electric unicycle was down. Um, I took my motor off uh, because to change a tire, my tire was flat. You basically have to take the motor off of the EUC to replace the tire. When I went to put the motor back on the EUC, I snapped a motor bolt and oh my God. Let's just talk about weeks and weeks and weeks trying to get this freaking motor bolt off. Any bolt on the EUC that you wanna break or that you don't wanna break, that's the one, the motor bolt. And it had Loctite on it. And let's just say I tried everything. I even tried to fucking weld the bolt on there. I didn't really give it a lot of time with the weld. That's a whole different story in itself. So I basically just gave up. I got frustrated. I'm like, let me buy a fucking whole new motor. The motor bolt defeated me, bought a whole new motor, put it on the EUC. So there's that story, okay? And here's the pickup to the left. And yes, more honking. And uh, ever since I got the new motor on here, obviously I got my long range EUC, which is a veteran Sherman right here. So I can go just about anywhere and not worry about range. And because of that, <laughs> because I don't have to worry about range, I just been going everywhere. I let it take me anywhere. I even, I mean, I, just anywhere. I let it take me anywhere. I used to like avoid to go um, above Central Park, but lately I've just been going up in Harlem. I've been going everywhere. So we might go up there today. We'll just see where Google takes me. Yep, 917. Thank you. All right, so this drop off, it's going to the east of Central Park. Central Park's right in the middle. We, I don't know if you can see it, but we're right here and we're going all the way over there. So we got to cross through Central Park. Central Park. Uh, I don't think it closes until 1 a.m. So we could still ride through Central Park right now without cops saying, hey, you can't ride in here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cross through Central Park, drop off the order, let's go. So yeah, it's always interesting. It's always like memorable when I deliver in a new area. Like some of my favorite videos that I've recorded was out in Williamsburg. Yeah, that's probably my favorite videos that I made. And it was just memorable because I'm exploring Brooklyn and Brooklyn's freaking huge. And so lately I've been going to Harlem. I was a little hesitant to go to Harlem for the longest time. Matter of fact, I was so dumb from not going up there that I thought, I literally thought Harlem was somehow the Bronx as well. Like, that's how ignorant I was, <laughs> like, not until recently. I actually got to cross, what is that, that river to get to the Bronx. And I didn't know that. I'll show a map here what I'm talking about. But I had to cross that river to get to the Bronx. And I was in the Harlem area, not in the Bronx area. <laughs> Okay, drop off is around here somewhere. Hey. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good night. You too.